Interior, ring side. An older rocker, <laughs> an older rocker. An older Rocky Balboa and Clubber Lang sit well dressed. Rocky stands and waves. Rocky chant turns to cheers. Clubber slaps Rocky's leg. Z Rock, they still love you. Clubber, I should say. Z Rock, they still love you. Jumbotron shows Rocky waving. Rocky, yeah, yeah. Till they find out I'm sitting with you. Interior service hallway. I really love here how Andrew LeMay writes his, um, uh, he writes for the character. He really writes how they speak in, in real life. I like that. Anyway, interior service hallway. Joe Martin, old black man, Mason Dixon's coach, pushes through a flamboyant entourage to emerge beside a fur coat wearing Mason Dixon. As the parade of people travels closer to the arena, the cheering crowd gets louder. Joe. Hold on now, Mason. Francis is trying to spice boxing up for us, so your entrance needs to be on cue. Ease into the fight, and for God's sake, don't knock him out to the third round. Got it? <clears throat> on the other side of Mason, Tyrese, entourage leader, middle-aged, 5'11", black male, pushes Mason forward. Tyrese. Come on, Pim. They're cheering for you, dog. Let's go. Joe. Got it, Mason? Joe gets trapped behind a security guard as Entourage surges towards arena entrance doors. Joe grabs the security guard. Joe continued. Quick, contact the control room and tell them to play Mason's music now. Play Mason's music now. Interior, press bench. And back, young commenter, edgy, high fives, cheering, rowdy crowd. A seated old commentator, classic. Talks on his headset to program director. Old com old commentator. Come on, Jim. This is boxing, not a circus. Do I really have to banter with this punk kid like this? Program director. OS. For the last time, yes. We've got to boost ratings. And you, you're on. Old commentator quickly looks into the camera as young commentator plops into his seat. Interior floor. Crowd cheering. Arena doors swing open. Mason confidently enters with boisterous entourage to a fully lit arena. Mason sees Rocky on the Trumbotron waving. Old commentator, voiceover. Well, well, welcome to another heavyweight boxing match here at Madison Square Garden. With Mason halfway into entrance, lights dim. Aggressive rap music starts. Jumbotron changes to put your hands together for Mason the Lion Dixon. Old commentator, voiceover. As usual, the crowd is excited to see Rocky Balboa ringside. The champ really makes people believe that fairy tales can come true. Crowd stops cheering and starts booing. Mason angrily scans the crowd for Rocky. Young commentator, voiceover. Forget Rocky and Bullwinkle, people. Want to see more Boris and Natasha? Interior ring. Mason enters ring with entourage. Disrobes sees Rocky sitting front row. Young commentator, voiceover. Mason's entourage is like, is like a mob waiting for any opportunity to go to get all carpe diem at Sports Authority. Mason stares Rocky down as thuggish entourage attempts to intimidate Yamel Wernda, large brow, large broad-chested black Cuban. That's the other fighter. Mason's opponent. I believe he's a real fighter. Anyway, old commentator, voiceover. Tonight's exhibition bout is scheduled to last eight rounds between the heavyweight champion of the world, Mason the Lion Dixon, and the challenger, Yamel the Worm Wernda. Wasn't he in, uh, fuck, fight night round something? Anyway, unfazed, Yamel continues to warm up. Mason's entourage entertainingly exits ring as ring announcer. One enters. Young commentator, voiceover. Orna may feel the love tonight, but Mason's the one getting those sweet, sweet odds to win. Ring announcer one stands mid-ring. Yamel in red corner, Mason in blue. Ring announcer number one. Introducing first from the red corner at six foot two, weighing in at two hundred and thirty-five pounds from Havana, Cuba, with two defeats. 15 wins and 3 knockouts. The challenger, Yamel. The worm, 
when the crowd cheers, Yamel dances, punching. Ring announcer one, continue. And in the blue corner, at six foot two inches, weighing in at 225 pounds, from Tampa, Florida, with zero defeats, 42 wins, and 35 knockouts, the reigning heavyweight champion of the world, Mason the Lion Dixon. Crowd boos, bored. Mason walks center ring while staring at Rocky. Ring announcer one exits as referee one meets Mason and Yamel. Center ring. 225 pounds. That's, that's less than me. How can that be? Anyway, referee number one. All right, gentlemen. Let's make this a clean fight. Mason. Pop goes the weasel. Yamel snickers. Hits Mason's gloves. Yamel. Buenos noches, senorita. Yamel returns to corner. Mason glares at Rocky ringside. Old commentator voiceover. Mason looks a bit preoccupied. He's looking at someone. But who is it? Young commentator voiceover. Well, I believe he's making goo-goo eyes at Rocky Balboa. Interior, interior ringside. Clumper leans in to talk to Rocky. Clumper. That man's got a thing for you. Rocky. Maybe I'm just a likable guy. Interior ring. Mason pays no attention to Joe. Joe. Don't forget what we talked about, Mason. Do not forget. Bell rings. Crowd cheers. Mason breaks eye contact with Rocky. Struts to meet your metal center ring. Yamel attempts to connect with four staggered jabs and a right bomb. Mason slips every punch. Old commentator voiceover. Wanda and Dixon fly to the middle of the ring as Wanda tries to connect with a series of jabs and heavy right. And a heavy right. Mason drops arms, steps towards Yamel. Yamel jabs twice, fires an extended right hook. Mason ducks right, then left, steps outside. Jabs Yamel once in the ribs. Yamel stumbles forward. Mason fades back. Crowd boos. Young commentator, voiceover. Whoa, it's like a tornado of punches that landed in the middle of nowhere. Dancing. Yamel waits. Mason catches Joe's attention. Joe shakes head no. Mason smirks, turns to the ropes, starts pointing and yelling at Rocky. Old commentator, voiceover. I can't tell if Yamel is hungry, thirsty, or just wants to dance for his win. And what is Mason doing? Yamel takes advantage of Mason's turned back, rushes in, delivering a hard right to Mason's back, to the back of Mason's head. Young commentator, voiceover. Silly Mason, tricks are for breakfast. Oh, here come the kids. Bouncing off the ropes, Mason spins, hitting Yamel with a right fa face punch. Crowd gasps. Yamel stumbles back. Mason gives him a come on gesture. Young commentary voiceover. Wow, Yamel, you won't be eating cereal anytime soon. Yamel steps in and delivers two jabs. Right cross, left uppercut, right hook. Mason slips each punch, steps back. Old commentary voiceover. And here comes Yamel. Swing after swing. Mason just moving too fast. Yamel leaves forward with a wide, wide, wild left haymaker. Mason steps outside, pushes Yamel away. Crowd boos. Old commentator. Voiceover. Everyone here seems to be wondering why Dixon is playing with Wernda. Interior press bench. Young commentator. Player's gonna play. Hater's gonna hate. Old commentator puts his hand over his eyes and sighs. I wonder if he's singing the Tyler Swift version or that guy singing from his mom's basement who sued Taylor Swift. Anyway, interior ring. Yamel charges Mason connecting with a combo left body right uppercut left cross. Mason stumbles backward. Crowd cheers. Old commentator voiceover. Whoa, did you see that? Young commentator voiceover. Ah, did you see that? Both at the same time. Mason shakes his head, no. Joe yells from his corner. Joe, not yet. You're on track. Not yet. Mason leans in. Yamel's left jab is answered with an inside right hook body blow. Lightning fast left rib jab. Left head hook. 
and thunderous right body blow. Yamel doubles over. Old commentator. Voice over. I've seen this look before, but Yamel's caught in the combo. Mason's fi Mason finishes with a left punch to the back of the head, bouncing Yamel's face off the canvas mat for the knockout. Referee one runs in to stop the fight. Young commentator, voiceover. And Yamel, the worm, Wernda, is down in the dirt, squealing like a pig. But there's no Burt Reynolds in sight. Awesome deliverance joke. <laughs> Crowd grumbles. Oh, I, I fucked up my pig squeal. Crowd grumbles in, disappointed, in disappointment as press Mason's entourage and fans flood the ring. In the commotion, Mason slips past everyone and heads for the locker room. Interior press bench. Well, my old commentary. What my colleague is trying to say is that Mason, the line Dixon, has once again proven he is the heavyweight champion of the world. Young commenter, comment, commentator. Stick around as we discuss exactly why Yamel Wernda sucked so bad. Old commentator stares blankly as fresh graphics and sports centerish music starts. Interior ring. <clears throat> Crowd mulls waiting for Mason. Cameraman points and yells upon seeing Mason walk out. Cameraman. There he is. Interior floor. Biting free his gloves, Mason marches to the locker room as a little boy steps up waving for Ma waving Mason's picture to sign. Little boy. Hey mister, can I get your autograph? Can I get your auto? Mason pushes the boy to the ground, marches off. Crowd cheers. Sore ass winner. As opposed to sore ass loser. Anyway. Interior ringside. Three interviewers stay to talk with Rocky and Clubber. Interviewer one. Hey Rocky, give us your thoughts on what took place tonight. Clubber butts in. Like Kanye, Mason act a fool. Rocky. Yeah, well, um, Mason held his ground kind of like a glass ceiling to a bird. Interviewers laugh. Rocky continued. Hey, but don't feel so sorry for that bird. He got to eat that worm for dinner before running into that glass ceiling, huh? Interviewers laugh again. Interviewer 2. Rocky, Mason was giving you some lip from the ring. What gives? Interviewer 3. Yeah, Rock. What do you say to a rematch? Clever butts in again. Fool get knocked out by a bo by Balboa. Fool get knocked out by Balboa. Rocky. Well, I've been thinking a long time about that. And if you'd like to talk with me about that, feel free to come down to my restaurant and we'll chat sometime. Interviewers groaned. Started picking up to leave. Rocky continued. And don't forget to try the ravioli. Clever punches Rocky in the arm. Sell it, Balboa! Clever says. Sell it, Balboa. Rocky. What? We really have a good ravioli. We make a really good ravioli. Interior locker room. Loud rap music plays as Joe bursts into locker room. Mason is putting on one expen uh, is putting on expensive clothes. Joe, turn that crap off. Mason reaches down, turns off iPhone boombox. Joe, continue. What the hell was that? Mason. Other than me knocking lights out, Joe, we spent time and money to repair your reputation, but you missed the cue. Get a first round knockout and skip out on the press. After boxing, your image makes you money. What I gotta tell you to convince you, we're on your side. Mason, tell me, what was he doing here? Joe's demeanor changes to guilt. Mason steps closer. Well, what's he doing here? 